Hey everyone and welcome back to another Cooking with Positive Smash. I hope you guys are all having a great night tonight. We are going to be making some hot wings. I will put the recipe down below. I have also made this recipe before, but tonight I don't I'm the only thing I'm not doing that the recipe calls for is I'm not making my own uh, blue cheese dressing. I'm using Toby's. I like this blue cheese dressing. The ranch dressing is pretty good too. So I'm going to put that in the fridge until we need it. Um, I've got some baked potatoes here that we're going to cook in the microwave. Since baked potatoes usually take forever, I'm not about that waiting game life. So we're going to just stab the shit out of it. And microwave five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other side, and then it should be done. They were growing little sprouts, so hopefully they're not too sweet or anything. Uh, I think that's good. And then we're also going to cut up some celery and carrots while we wait. Uh, did I say this already? You have to set the chicken out for half an hour. You don't have to, but it definitely helps in more even cooking. I definitely would agree to, just from experience of cooking wings, that the ones that you let out sit out for a little bit, definitely, for some reason they like get crispier. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I think that there is something to that though. When it's cold, it releases more juices or something. And when it's heated up, you know. Okay. That's good. Five minutes. All right. Another thing that you can do while you're waiting for the chicken wings to come up to room temperature is we can start the uh, sauce for it. So you're going to need a small pot. Let me get the respect. They've already been out for about 10 minutes, so... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm unprepared. Do, 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 do. Just cutting the ends off of the celery while I wait for it to load. Okay. We are going to need... Two tablespoons of butter and a half a cup of red hot sauce, and then a half a teaspoon of Kanye pepper, cayenne pepper. All right, let me find the proper measuring utensil. Actually, here, here's a half a cup. I don't even know if I want to use this this stuff because this is like their buffalo wings, and I think it already might have butter in it. And this is kind of, we're adding our own butter. I don't know. Shake it, shake it, shake it. I just pull off the top because the cap is like a little dripper thing. And we're going to be using a lot of it, so. I feel like that's not enough. I feel like that's totally not enough sauce. So I'm going to do a quarter more. That I feel better about now. Okay, so I'm gonna have to remember to half it and add that to it. So the butter was two tablespoons to three tablespoons. One, two, three. Cayenne pepper. I mean, if you really want to go crazy with cayenne pepper, you can. Ooh, that might be a little. That might be a little too much. Ah! As I like dump it all out. Dumbo. Alright, so I think that's all I need of the iPad because pretty much the rest of it I know or can remember. And we'll check those potatoes in just a second. About a minute 30 to be exact. 
And then I should tilt you down and we should get working on the carrots and celery. Okay, here's our little carrots and celery station. I like butter on it. I smell the potatoes. We're also going to need the oven on 254. The uh, hot wings once they're done. I'm gonna cut these in half because I want to. Some of them don't need to be cut in half though. And then I didn't think I was gonna need this one, but I think I'm gonna do it just. Just because I want to make more work for myself. Celebrate. Give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, the potato timer just went off, so I'm going to check them. Here's what they look like. They totally already smell like baked. Ah! There was water in there. Ha <laughs> ha! Hot. Hot. Okay, five more minutes. Okay, now while those are finishing, we will cut our carrots up. And that sauce, the butter's already melted. So I'm just going to stir it like that until I'm ready to actually stir it. And then I don't really know how I want to cut the carrots. This one I'm going to cut in different, different ways because I screwed up the cutting. Mm. It's a little thick for my liking. It's crazy that one carrot was not enough, but two carrots was a lot. Done with these, and then we'll check on the potatoes again, and then we're pretty much ready to start the chicken. So I should start heating up a lot of oil. I'm gonna go through the stuff in the compost, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have these scores in case I wanted them. I don't think I do. I don't really want them. But I'm going to cut up the zucchini anyways, because we should eat them. It's not that I want them, but we should eat them. They are healthy vegetables. Oh, Jesus, I'm sure I'm going to get so much shit for eating chicken wings. Listen. Here's the thing. It's so funny that, like, different... I know different people watch this video than watch my main videos. Um, here's the thing about the, the chicken wings. I constantly get re requests for stuff like chicken wings and the chicken parmesan, chicken cordon bleu, and I don't really get requests like, oh, could you make vegan mac and cheese, or could you make vegan this and that, like, people, and I know there were those couple of people saying they wanted a vegan mukbang, but there are, like, there just aren't the viewers. I'm sorry, people. There just aren't. So I need to do stuff that's going to garner some views. It would be great if I could just make money, you know, doing vegan and vegetarian videos. But my most popular video is my Indian food one. And then the next one after that is hot wings. 
So, and then it's funny, the one after that is uh, vegetarian sushi. But the only reason, hold on. Okay, so the, um, the wings. The potatoes are done, but I'm going to cut them in half and check that they're like fully done. Oh, so what I was saying is it all comes down to search and that's the one thing that I can like I can't be on the front page of the mukbang search but I can be on the first page of you know vegetarian mukbang or vegetarian sushi or hot wing mukbang so you gotta just kinda do what is gonna bring you to views these I'm going to just put into a pan Still oily from whatever I cooked in here last. Oh, I think it was just the tacos. The oil from frying tacos. Oh, and the bottom's all oily too. That's what happens when a man washes the dishes. Okay. This I'm going to move to the back. Just on simmer. And this one up here I'm going to keep on medium. Just a touch of olive oil, and I'm going to saute them with some salt and pepper and probably some garlic powder. I'm just putting them in there for now. Uh, let me check my potatoes. Yikes! Okay, let's cut into these potatoes and see if they are done enough. Ooh, yes, bitch. That is just like butter. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's great. Okay. So I'm going to probably just leave them in the microwave so that they kind of stay warm until we are ready. And then I'm going to actually, let's open them up and I will not leave them in the microwave. I'm going to kind of mash this stuff up in the middle. I might even take it out and add some sour cream and cheese to it and green onions or some chives and do double baked potatoes like that. Because the oven's on 300, so it's definitely enough to like get stuff kind of crisped or stay crisped. Okay, and that's what it's for, is for once the wings are done to put the to put them in the oven so that they stay crispy. These, I it falls out of my mouth. That is the perfect catch phrase for me. I'm gonna put in the fridge. Okay, I'm back with a little bit cleaner of the work surface. We're gonna dump this cornstarch into a bowl. Cornstarch, why do you have to be so friggin' messy? Okay. Yeah, oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna start with the kind of smaller thing of chicken that I have. And we're going to salt and pebble the wings. Trying to just go like that and kind of mix them up, but I guess it doesn't matter because I'm going to stick my fingers in that. Another one. Get them all coated in salt and pepper. Okay. You know what? Now I need to go wash my hands because you can't really be touching like dry stuff with greasy wet hands.
Here, and I brought a spoon. I'm going to try that method. Just kind of spooning them around in here. Nope, that does not really work. Yas, little baby chicken wing. See, now this is chickens, because this is multiple chickens to get this many wings. Thank you, chicken. I don't really like these pieces that have big danglers of fat, but what can you do? What is this little nub? Weird. I think that's actually what I'm going to test the oil level, the hotness. I definitely don't want to set all this chicken in cold oil, you know. You want your oil to be hot. So that when you set it in, it goes pssst, sizzles. And I'll move you guys over to the stove to see the, ch the chicken cooking in just a minute. See, that's kind of more of the sound I want to hear is that. No, like, that. I don't know. I can't explain it. Nope, still not hot enough. Come on, oil. I've had it sitting on like this entire time. And what happens if the oil is not hot enough is the cornstarch just kind of like falls off. And these are going to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. These smaller ones I'll probably only do 10 minutes, maybe even less. These little, little itty bitty ones. There we go. Now it's hot enough. And I'm getting cornstarch all over my frickin' Zucchini, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'll move you guys. I can't really leave you here because there's no room on the stove. So that's what it's looking like right now. Uh, these are gonna go for 10 more minutes, so I'm gonna bring you back over to where we were and we're gonna finish our potatoes. Okay, we're going to move all this stuff. We've got about nine minutes before that next batch is done. Or before that batch is done and we need to get going on the next batch. Okay. What we're going to do with these... Okay, while the chicken is still going, I'm going to take these potatoes. They've kind of cooled off now. And I'm going to... Oh, they're so hot. I 
I need something to brace my hand. Hair. There you go. I'm not going to take all of it out because you definitely want like a little bit still on the skin just to be like a barrier in between all of this. Too much on the bottom. Okay, there's one. Don't go on into the cornstarch. Then I will have to get rid of it. Oh no, I just broke that one. Fine, I'm going to cook these in a dish. Ceramic dish, so. They don't need to be like most perfect, but I'd like them to be a little bit more perfect than that last one. That was horrible. Okay, so there's that, and I'm going to add buttermilk to that. A healthy dollop of Daisy, dollop of sour cream. Some cheese and those wings are actually absolutely ready for me to take out, which is pretty good timing. If I had been a little bit faster with this, I could have gotten it done. I'm going to move these for now. Okay, since I still have so many left, I'm probably going to do two more batches. I'm just making sure that these ones that were sitting here for a while, all the cornstarch didn't get soaked up. There's still plenty on there. Uh, I'm going to try to grab kind of bigger ones because that's what those are. Mm -hmm. I think that will be our last batch right there. Well, maybe one more of these drums. Drumettes. Yes, those are looking like crispy little critters. 
You gotta work quickly. And actually, I'm gonna try to do one more. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't fit, that's okay. I would like it to, though, since all the other ones are pretty small. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands and we're gonna switch. Okay, I'll show you this batch going in and then we'll move you back and finish off our potatoes. And I actually lowered the heat of the oil so that's why it's not quite like popping. Perfect. I'm going to move you back and we'll do the potatoes. Okay, I have not added salt and pepper to the potatoes yet. So salt, that was a lot of salt. Pepper. Somebody asked where I got this. This is from Crate and Barrel. I can't remember the name of it. I Bavaria, something like that. I linked it. I linked you to the one that I have though. So, just in case you don't watch this, or anyone who does watch this and who is curious, where are my chives? What in the heck? Alright, I need to find my chives and I will be right back. Okay, I found the chives, but I had to move you. If you don't like chives, don't put chives. If you like green onions, put green onions. I like chives. more milk. Mm. That's so good though. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to fill these back up. <coughs> Chunk of pepper. Oh, I love pepper though. I'm going to flip the chicken real quick. Filling the potatoes.
Okay, I'm going to get the ceramic dish to put them in, and I will show you what it is before I put them in the oven. Ceramic dish. And I might even, I was thinking about kind of sealing them up like that a little bit. I might have to just because they're so, so big. Leave them like a little open so they get kind of toasty in there. Oh, hot, hot, Our zucchini is definitely done. I put that in the oven. But it's fun. It can it can just stay in there so warm. Oh, and it smells so good in here. Okay. I'm gonna do the last round of chicken. And then we will check back in. I'll show you I'll just do this one off camera and then I'll show you me tossing the uh, chicken wings in sauce. So here are all of our done wings, and then I'm going to add just a couple more that are in my pot right now, and then I'm going to show you guys me saucing them. Okay, and somebody asked me about what I do with my old cooking oil. I don't throw it away. I am a hoarder, and I hoard it, and I have like a whole box of jars of oil in my basement. <laughs> uh, there's recycling places that you can take them. And that's why I've been I've been just waiting to take it to the recycling place, because they'll they'll turn that oil into uh, oil for cars. So it's good to save it, and if you can find a place that takes it, do it that way. All right. I don't want to breathe in the sauce because it is potent. Yes. All right, you guys. I'll turn you up and we'll say goodbye. I'll probably toss them a little more. If you guys enjoyed tonight's cooking with Positive Smash, please smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. I try to make new videos every single day. I don't make cooking videos every day, mm. but I do make other videos every single day. I will see you guys in the next one. Tomorrow we're having mushroom broccoli casserole, so vegetarian option. I'll see you guys then. Bye.